Chapter 4 Changing Times in Jamestown Working together many things went well when John Smith was the leader of Jamestown. The settlement grew to nearly 500 people. The colonists all worked because John Smith had made a rule that those who did not work could not eat. The colonists grew crops. They raised chickens, goats, and horses. They also kept pigs outside the fort in a place called Hog Island. In the forest around Jamestown, there were many animals for the colonists to hunt. They could catch fish and oysters in the rivers in the Chesapeake Bay. They could gather the fruits, berries, and nuts that grew wild in the Jamestown area. John Smith traded for food with the Powhatan. They were willing to trade with him because he worked hard to earn their respect. He was fair and honest. He always kept his word. Then one night, a terrible thing happened. Captain Smith was very badly hurt in a gunpowder explosion. He had to return to England for medical help to heal his wounds. When Captain Smith left, the colonists had a good supply of food in their storehouses. They had enough for more than two months. They also had a clean water supply, warm houses, and a strong fort. Many of the colonists were happy to see John Smith go back to England. They were tired of working so hard. But after he left, the colonists were missing something important, a good leader. The new leader was not as strong as Captain Smith had been. He did not make the colonists work hard to survive. A group of colonists went to trade with the Powhatan, but they tried to cheat the Native Americans. A fight broke out, and the colonists were killed. Now the Powhatan were angry, and they would not trade for food. The colonists' food supply continued to grow smaller. Outnumbered, the colonists were trapped inside the walls of the Jamestown fort. The colonists could not go out to hunt or fish. They also needed firewood for the coming winter. The people of Jamestown began knocking down the houses they had worked so hard to build. The starving time, the colonists grew hungry. Before long, they had eaten everything in the storehouses. Then they ate the chickens, the goats, and even the horses. After the large animals were gone, the colonists ate the dogs and then the cats. Then they ate the rats and finally, the mice. They were so hungry that they even ate their boots and shoes. Many of the colonists died from hunger, disease, and freezing temperatures. By the spring of 1610, only 60 people were still alive. The colonists had a special name for the winter of 1609 and the spring of 1610. They called it the Starving Time. A new leader. The colonists decided to leave Jamestown, but they did not get far. As they sailed down the James River, they saw sails in the distance. The sails belonged to two English ships on their way to Jamestown. The ships carried a new governor, more new colonists, and lots of supplies. The colony was saved. The new governor was a strong leader. He warned the colonists that they would be punished if they did not work hard. He ordered everyone to clean up and rebuild the settlement. Finally, the starving time was over. The colonists began to clear the land around the fort. They built small farmhouses. The English colonists in Virginia had survived their worst struggles. Slowly, life in Jamestown began to get better. The Powhatan and the colonists began to trade again. But neither side fully trusted the other anymore. 